Hey, what's up? This is me, Robert, and this is another installment of Eat, Sleep, Play, Tart, Wrestling, Repeat. And the gameplay I'm showing you right now is UFC EA Sport. As me and my little brother playing this game, I'm playing as Bruce Lee, and my little brother Ishmael playing as Nick Diaz. And the topic I'm going to talk about is the flip flopping mania main event. What that means is. Vince Man is changing his mind about the main event for WrestleMania. Original plan was Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But Vince Man hear the fans' reaction and they want Daniel Bryan being part of the main event. Now, I'm a big fan of Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns, he's a good he's a good wrestler, you know, don't get me wrong, but Vince McMahon has been have been pushing Roman Reigns to be that number one guy. But since the Royal Rumble, after Dane Bryan got eliminated, the fans was was mad, was upset. And they've been upset ever since then. People start, you know, cancel their WWE network, of which I believe that. People stop watching WWE, people start, you know, ranting and express how they're feeling through Twitter, social media the shows, I mean, you name it, they did it. So, Vince the man think about changing his mind and make it to another triple threat match. When I heard the news, half of, half of me was good and half of me was kind of like, not too sure. I'm going to get to that part just later. But, Vince McMahon, man, he's the type of guy who who don't listen to their fans you know i remember that podcast the very first podcast said he listens to the fans and what the fans want the fans go get and no that's some bull because if that would be the case dan brown would have won the word rumble and there'll be no flip-flopping ideas for the mania and we will, and we will stick with brock lesnar versus daniel bryan now i understand people saying that daniel bryan and brock lesnar match is unrealistic in which that's the most dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life because we root for underdogs the prime example Rey Mysterio after he won the Warrior Rumble match and go on to Wrestlemania 22 to face Kurt Angle and, and Randy Orton in the triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship some people were split I was going for Rey Mysterio because I'm a big fan of Rey Mysterio but when he won the world title it made it more realistic that anybody can pursue and capture their dream. And that's the whole point about it. Now, if you look at Roman Reigns, yeah, it's different, but the fans dislike him because he been forced down our throat versus of we like this person who he is in our own, our own way versus of someone forcing us to like that person. Huge different. Prime example, Dolph Ziggler. Not too long ago, he was a spirit squad. After that, he broke away from the spirit squad and become a solo, a solo talent. People start booing him, but they start respecting him for what he do as a wrestler. And after becoming the heel, he starts sl slowly turning face because of us, because we would like him so much, we root for him. After he cash in his money in the bank on Berto Del Rio a couple years back. And to this day on, he didn't force that to our throat. We accept it because he's a good wrestler and he deserved to be in the main event. And we deserve a big change. This is what this is what Danny Bryan is all about. We deserve a change. And he deserved that long title reign that we didn't get the opportunity last year. But it was cut short with an unfortunate neck injury. And now being replaced by Roman Reign to the guy who can't talk as we saw on Raw past uh, past couple of days who can't talk the fans was not interested not all but some we got little kids and females who think he's pretty hot which that's dumb in my point of view and guys who can relate him because he looked like a badass which I can agree with but we look at Daniel Bryan I like him because he, he down to earth, he real grounded, and he realistic. If you, if you put Daniel Bryan in UFC, in most likely in the lightweight division or flyweight, <clears throat> flyweight division, 
you would like him from from the get go because he's he's a realistic guy, and plus he's a big fan of MMA. Roman Reigns, on the other hand, not so much. That's why we're bringing back to the whole WrestleMania main event because Vince McMahon is really pushing the Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns match very hard. But our voice opinion and and the fans disliking it. Vince got, got a little panic mode and started pushing the triple threat match. I don't know how they're gonna pull this off in the in fast lane. I got a feeling it will be a counter or a double DQ. That's the only two ways you can pull this off. And plus, originally it was supposed to be Daniel Brown versus Dolph Ziggler, and I thought in my own mind that Dolph Ziggler would be the one who could turn heel and fight Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania after Dolph Ziggler screwed Daniel Bryan at. Fast lane, but they decided to scrap that idea. So, why I'm happy about the triple threat match because we finally get to see Danny Bryan being the main event once again and hopefully capture the title. Either he pinned Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar. And I think once again, Danny Bryan has saved WrestleMania just like he did last year after the streak in which. That should never happen. But after the streak was took the toll to WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan saved it. And for this year, I think Daniel Bryan could do the same thing. Now, why I'm not too sure about the triple threat match. Well, there's lots of elements of this match or, or this plan. Number one, Seth Rollins got the money in the bank briefcase. And most likely he will not cash in on Fastlane or any other Raw. He will most likely cash it in at WrestleMania. Because in the history, nobody ever cashed it in at WrestleMania. And what a perf- what a perfect way to do it is at WrestleMania. Because number one, you try to boost more subscribers for a network. Number two, you can make history. And number three, as several as a heel, they will draw more heat. What that means is, Daniel Bryan most likely gonna win the triple threat match. After a whole big celebration, confettis and fireworks and all the emotional feeling as a fan, like, oh, they finally made it. Next thing you know, boom, Seth Rollins comes in, cash in on Daniel, Daniel Bryan, beats him, and it will leave the fans even more angrier than the Royal Rumble. It will make the, make the fans buy the network. And most likely it will be the most talked about WrestleMania since the streak been broken. That's my idea. And another idea is most likely Roman Reigns might pin Daniel Bryan and have Brock Lesnar losing without being pinned just to make Brock Lesnar strong or being safe. And we know that might that might be a slim chance to none, but if that be the case, I think Brock Lesnar may return or go back to MMA if he was with Bellator or UFC. So in my own opinion, we we'll probably wait and see what's gonna happen. If they go if there's gonna be a triple threat match, there's only two things we may see. Either Daniel Bryan win the title and become the become the savior of WrestleMania or Seth Rollins or somebody else beat Daniel Bryan and become the champion. And the other part of the element I should bring it up earlier is Roman Reigns by pinning Daniel Bryan and become more hated because he pinned a fan favorite. So it's kind of like a win lose lose situation. Either Seth Rollins cash in and beat Daniel Bryan or Roman Reigns pinning Daniel Bryan and become the champion. And all that we what we want as a fan is. Daniel Bryan walking away as the champion, one way to another, because this is WrestleMania, and this is supposed to be your biggest show of all time, because we're already seeing what what Wrestle Kingdom 9 did, and that show was awesome, so now all eyes on WrestleMania, what are you going to do with it? I'm pretty sure I got my confidence that WrestleMania will be good in some sort of way, but I'm pretty sure WrestleMania is going to be good. I'm pretty sure they will push the triple threat match. If not, then we may see Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns and may go down one of a. Why can I say? 
most sorriest WrestleMania ever. I could be wrong, but it could be it. It could be the most sorriest WrestleMania ever. Because most likely they would, they would root for Brock Lesnar more than Roman Reigns. But, like I said again, it will put, it, Mr. Man will push the Triple Threat match once again. And I could be wrong, this might be the first time ever we see a back-to-back Triple Threat match in both WrestleMania in history, or WrestleMania history. And that says a lot because usually when you make mistake, you should learn from your mistake and make sure you won't happen again. But Vince McMahon did the same old mistake like he did last year and try and make it up to the fans. Make sure they won't make sure the fans won't may won't be mad at Vince McMahon ever again. But that won't be nothing until we see the outcome. Either we see Daniel Bryan become the champion and walk away happy and smile on our face. Seth Rollins cashing in on Daniel Bryan and become more angrier than ever, or Roman Reigns beat Daniel Bryan and become way more angrier than ever, because I don't think Roman Reigns gonna pin Brock Lesnar, because I don't think Brock Lesnar will go out like that. Plus, Daniel Bryan can pin Brock Lesnar, that would be awesome. Daniel Bryan pin Roman Reigns, that would be epic because it would be a big karma. And be like, what's going wrong? What goes around will come back around. So it's like a win, win, win situation for Daniel Bryan. For opposite, win. No, there's no win situation where Daniel Bryan lose. So that's my opinion. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like button. Leave a comment. Until then, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.